parents are from. Evelyn, have you ever heard of streptomyces? Yeah, I heard there are over 500 species of streptomyces. They're gram positive filamentous bacteria. They have hyphae that form spore chains. They um, resemble fungi in growth and structure. They're found in soil and decay organic matter, and they're the biggest antibiotic. Sounds like you know a lot about the general characteristics of streptomyces, but what do you know about its genome? Hmm, nothing. Oh, okay then. Let's, Let's find out! out. Tell me about genetics streptomyces. Well, let's start with the gene structure. The plasmid is both circular and linear. They have linear chromosome and the GC content is 60 to 78 percent. Why is the chromosome linear? Um, circularizing the chromosome will cause them to be unstable. They also have bigger coding capacity and really different than other bacteria because they have a large genome. Centrally located origin of replication, OEC, that maps near DNA A and gyrase B, genes encoding replication initiation protein and DNA gyrase respectively. Their linear chromosome is replicated bidirectionally from OEC. Streptomyces colicolor was the first one to have its genome sequenced. The chromosome N consists of terminal inverted repeats that range in size from 20 to 550 kb. These sequences are generally not conserved among streptomyces. However, approximately the first 200 base pairs, which are rich in palindromic sequences, are well conserved. Where do antibiotics come in? They have the genes to produce secondary metabolites, such as antibiotics, like streptomycin and chloramphenicol. Some species have more than 100 expressed genes for antibiotic production, which constitute more than 1% of the genome. So we've already heard about streptomyces' ability to produce antibiotics such as neomycin, streptomycin, and chloramphenicol. But did you know that they can also produce other secondary metabolites such as antimycotics, hydrolytic enzymes to degrade oil and protect, uh, protect against bacteriophages. Um, they can produce immunosuppressants and they can also produce anti-cancer compounds. Sounds awesome, but why have their genomes evolved to contain such genes? Competition for survival. Streptomyces live in nutrient-limited environments, so they produce antibacterial agents to inhibit growth of other bacteria. Streptomyces colicolor genome contains 8 million base pairs with 7,825 open reading frames. It has a coding density of 88.9% and a GC content of 72% and it has an average gene length of 991 base pairs. There are 965 predicted regulatory proteins and 614 predicted transport functional proteins. So, I'm a biotech student. I was wondering how streptomyces relates to biotech. Okay, scientists can modify the streptomyces genome for research and therapeutic purposes. Molecular cloning can be used to express the whole biosynthetic pathway of Streptomyces antibiotic in a heterologous host. This means that they can express novel proteins that wild types do not express, such as eukaryotic genes. Their proteins are inserted into the plasmid and phages for antibiotic production. They also use cloning factors to replicate Streptomyces genes. Yay!